Tell me we were going to the circus. I thought I'd surprise you, Penny. I have a little top secret business to take care of here, but it shouldn't take all day. <gasps> this is as far as we go. Do you know you're blocking a public thoroughfare? I insist you remove yourself immediately. If you don't, I'll see you in traffic court. Okay, you've had your warning. I'm running you in. <laughs> This time I'll let you off with just a warning! Uncle Gadget, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. A good detective is always on his nose. Uh, I mean, toes. Uh, I was just investigating things from a different angle. And, uh... Oh, I think I smell something. Smell? Yes, Penny, I smell popcorn. Ah! <laughs> Gadget. Chief Quimby, when did you run away to join the circus? I'm not joining the circus, Gadget. You are. Here's your assignment, Gadget. Agents of MAD disguised as circus performers have infiltrated this circus. They are using it as a freely moving base from which to loot and steal. The mission is to expose them and destroy Dr. Claw's cover. This message will self-destruct in 30 seconds. But Chief, what would mad agents want to steal from a circus? No, no. They disguise themselves as circus performers and do Dr. Claw's dirty work anywhere the circus stops. I'll just infiltrate this circus myself and flush out these mad agents. <laughs> Gadget thinks he can expose my agents and destroy my cover. <laughs> Show him how dangerous circus life can be. Right, Mad Cat. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to try and help Uncle Gadget on this one, Brain. You've gotta make sure that Dr. Claw's agents don't spot him first. I'm gonna look around for some evidence, but I'm not sure where to start. Uh, Uncle Gadget! <laughs> Ta-da! Well, what do you think of my disguise, Penny? The ringmaster gave me the job. Who, Jay? You sure did, but your shoes are on the wrong feet. That's all part of it, Penny. Let those mad agents think I'm a foolish clown, and before long, they'll be laughing on the other side of their faces. <laughs> Good idea, Uncle Gadget. They'll never suspect a clown that's just hanging around. Precisely. Now you two go and enjoy the show. I've got work to do. <laughs> Remember, Brad, follow him and keep your eyes and ears open. <laughs> By the way, what happened to the clown I'm replacing? Uh, um, uh, he, he caught a cold. Uh, I really appreciate your filling in for him. You say you've had circus experience. I've seen enough of them to know what I'm doing. Well, here goes. Dr. Claw wants Gadget eliminated. Don't worry, I filled the car up with rocket fuel. It'll hit him so hard, he'll end up in orbit. <laughs> That's what you get for not rehearsing. Ta-da! My plan is working perfectly. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? No, no, ladies and gentlemen, you're too kind. And what have you done with my balloons? Yeah! Uh, hi there. Yeah. Oh. Mm. There's something about that ringmaster I don't like. Gadget still lives. I'll give our ringmaster 
one more chance. Brain, how's it going? Listen, Brain, there's something suspicious about that ringmaster. I'm gonna check his trailer for clues. Stick with Uncle Gadget. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, I'm looking for the clown's trailer. One of them's a friend of mine, and uh... Well, that's not it. The clown's trailer is over there. Thank you very much, sir. What happened to Gadget? Oh, oh, oh well, well, we tried. Well, then, try again. I want results. Gadget must be eliminated before he discovers you and my other agents. How about an animal act? <laughs> yes, that would solve our problems. <laughs> What's so funny? It's like I always say, Penny. If you can't lick them, join them. Then lick them. I don't know about this, Uncle Gadget. It's the next step in my plan, Penny. By going a couple of rounds with this lion, I'll earn the respect of all the other performers. If they know of any suspicious characters, they'll be sure to tell me about them. But a lion tamer... Don't worry, Penny. I've already worked it out with Brutus here. He's as harmless as a kitten. Besides, I have a way with animals, big or small. If you say so, Uncle Gadget. Go get yourself a good seat. We've worked out quite an act. Okay, Brutus. Put on a good show, and I'll see what I can do about getting you out of that cage on good behavior. <laughs> Bye now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the center ring, I give you the great Gizmo and his ferocious lion. <laughs> Okay. Brutus. Well, well, I didn't think you had it in you. Remember, we've got to make this look good. Yaha! Hey! Ho! Okay, Lion, come and get me! Don't just sit there. Wowzers! <laughs> huh? Brutus, if he's here... <gasps> Uncle Gadget! Brain, someone put a wild lion in the ring with Uncle Gadget. Brain, thank goodness. You've got to get in there and help Uncle Gadget. Try and keep the lion off him. <laughs> Take it easy, Brutus. You're playing this a little too rough. Let's wrap this up with a big finish. And now, I will place my head into the lion's mouth. Okay, Brutus. Open up. Again. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Claw. I, I promise that Gadget will meet with a nasty accident very shortly. Ah, yes. An accident. Gadget is working his way up in the circus. Why not take him <laughs> right to the top? <laughs> the trap is. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly, Penny. 
but the next step calls for careful strategy. I have two suspects, but I don't want to make my move until I'm sure I know which circus performers are really mad agents. Uh, what about the ringmaster, Uncle Gadget? Oh, no, Penny. He's a nice man. Let's see if he can help. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to try out for another circus job. I'll take anything. What a coincidence. I was coming to see you about filling in for one of our trapeze artists. What's wrong with him? Oh, just a little cold. Wow, must get pretty drafty up there on those swings. I know that ringmaster's up to something, but we need proof. Rubber! That's it, Brain. The flying zucchinis, the trapeze artists. Whoa, whoa. You watch Uncle Gadget. I'll be back in a while. May I present the Flying Zucchinis, the greatest death-defying trapeze artists in the world. Wowzers. It didn't look this high from down there. At least they have a safety net. Better safe than sore, that's what I always say. Uh. Uh. How do you stop these things? <laughs> don't remember. I was walking along, and then everything went black. I'm all right. Thank you. Brain? Brain, the ringmaster lied. The zucchini brother was purposely taken out of the show. It's a trap. <laughs> Folks, the zucchinis will attempt a daring triple loop de loop without a net. You look suspiciously familiar. Ah, so, Gadget, you want to be a star, do you? You'll soon be a shooting star. <laughs> that working without a net is dangerous? And another thing, if there are three zucchinis and one of them didn't make it, then who are you? Aha! I knew it all along. Hey, you! Wait a minute! Yaha! It's all a mad plot to toss me in a zucchini salad. I, I guarantee that they 
this will be Gadget's final performance. Brain, is that you? What? <laughs> Uncle Gadget's a death-to-bone stuntman? Oh, no! And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the one, the only, Mr. Indestructible, the greatest stuntman in the world. <clears throat> A perfect vantage point. If any mad agents set foot in this tent, I can spot them in an instant. Brain, get up there and help Uncle Gadget. I called Chief Quimby before him. He's on the way. And for his second amazing feat, Mr. Indestructible will dive from the top of the tent into this tub of water. Why, the chances of surviving a fall from this height must be one in a zillion. That is, if it wasn't for my trusty gadget, Brella. <laughs> And for his next stunt, Mr. Indestructible will do a double backflip into a barrel. Mr. Indestructible will become the Human Cannonball! <gasps> he will shoot through the air and the paper target. Quick, Brain, stop the clown while I... Try to lock it to the cannon motor. <laughs> I have to change the angle of projection or Uncle Gadget will hit the brick wall. There's not enough time. Whoa! After him. Don't let him get away. Gadget did it again, flushed out the mad agent single-handed. But uh, where is he, Penny? I want to congratulate him on another fine job. No! That sounds like Uncle Gadget. Oh. Curses. Gadget has uncovered our undercover operation, but no one will ever uncover me or Mad Cat. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to call the airport. That plane has a real dirty engine. Remember, Penny, circus stunts are for circus pros. They take years of practice. That's why they look so easy. We kids should never take unnecessary risks on our bicycles. Always walk your bicycles across streets and intersections. And when riding at night, be sure to wear something white so people can see you. And that goes for skateboards and scooters, too. Oh, Uncle. You better be careful, too. Don't worry. I have the situation well in hand.
next time, Gadget.